はようございます。皆さん、ヘローとヤマです、えー。よろしくお願いします。今日はね、えー、っと、木曜日、8月の27日の朝なんですけど、えー、っと、すみません、突然、3日間休ませていただいて、申し訳ありません。実は、えー、友達と一緒に東京行ってきました。2泊3日。えー、っと、実はね、パソコン、持って行って、そこで、あの、Vlog やるつもりでしたけど、うん、動画は撮ったんですけど、編集はね、あんまり時間がな,なくて、えー、っと、やっぱりちょっと3日間休むことにしました。今日は、えー、何もする予定、がないからちょっと英語で言うと GTD と何て言うんだろう日本語では、えー、やらなくちゃいけないことをやっちゃおうみたいな、えー、Vlog の編集とかいろいろ用事をやるつもりですだから Vlog 普通の Vlog の代わりに、えー、この前の3日間の東京旅行のまとめのえー、VTR というか画像を、えー、見ていただきたいなと思いますはいそれでは東京旅行スタートはい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。3日間、東京に行ってきます。This is the Shinkansen menu. An example of some of the things you can get. Look at these snacks. Dried firefly squid. Shrimp rice cracker. Bamboo leaf shaped fish cakes. And tasty potato sticks. ホテルに預かったから新宿へ行きます。あそこから降りてきました都庁第一庁舎結構良かった無料だったし展望台あと景色も結構見えたからスカイツリーも
東京タワーも全部見えたからいいねまた来よう何しようかまだ何も決めてなかったから今から暇つぶし Look at this hotel It has tiny little windows So weird Shibuya scramble. I'm so scared. <laughs> we can make it. We can make it. Here we go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look at all these people. This is the band we're going to see tomorrow. Hi, thank you. Tokyo, day two. Just checked out. Ready to go. Shirts on. Shirts on. Shirts on. Ooh. So pumped for side side fest. Going to the KO line. On a moving walkway. Another long ass escalator. Getting on the KO. We have not been able to sit down on a single train in Tokyo yet. Always standing. So many people. Nice towel. There it is, Studio Coast. A little sound check going on. Dude, we came to Sci Sci Fest and there was nobody here. <laughs> no, no one here. Just kidding. Um, this is just the line to get merch. <laughs> The food trucks have arrived. Kebab kitchen first in line. Excellent. Merch done. New silent siren. I just <laughs> that up. <laughs> sci Sci Fest wristband. <laughs> Look at all these Sci Sci fans. Yeah. It's starting to rain. I really hope it stops. They're calling numbers now. We're about to go in pretty soon, which means this is about to end for now. I'm pretty sure they don't allow cameras inside. See you guys later. What the? Finally finished. Sci Sci Fest. It is. 9.20 p.m. We are exhausted. Just cold. Thank you. Whoa. Just got something. Nice. Uh, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. I have a lot to say about it. 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 I
Maybe we'll just talk about it tomorrow. And for now, let's go home. Hotel in Nikairo. Hotel! Yes. Hotel number two. A capsule hotel. Good night. Guys, that's it. Time for me to hit the sack. Good morning, guys. We just, uh, we checked out of our hotel, dropped our bags off at Tokyo Station, and now we are looking for a place to eat breakfast. There seems to be nothing here. We don't really want to go outside because it's raining, and we are not prepared <laughs> for the rain. Finished breakfast. We are heading out. We are going to go to Nakano, which is a place I've never been to before. We're sitting down on a train <laughs> in Tokyo. <laughs> Hello, Nakano. An outdoor market with a roof. Perfect for a rainy day. I guess this is a shop where you make your own doll. There's female, mostly female. There's a couple male ones over here. And then you can like choose the hair. You can paint the eyes on or something. Get the clothes. It's incredible. So this is a pachinko parlor. I just want to demonstrate the soundproofing technology that Japan has. We are outside the pachinko parlor. You can't hear a thing. Now let's go in. Oh Jesus, are we doing this? It's so loud. Back at Tokyo Station now. We got souvenirs. We're having lunch. And then it's time to go back home. There it is. Back to Konozawa. Oh, it's here. This is our train, so. So long, Tokyo. Bye bye.
back in Guru Bay. It's bittersweet. It's good to be home. But of course, hate to leave Tokyo. Yeah. And we're coming back to this awesome freaking weather. This underlines the feelings I have right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, boy. Alright, well that's it for this. Thanks for watching everyone. Henry, you want to say goodbye? Yeah, see you guys. <laughs> Alright, goodbye everyone. Thank you. Bye everyone. Obviously, couldn't take pictures there. Couldn't bring my camera in. Or I brought my camera in, but couldn't take it out. Um, so, let's recap the night. So we go in. What, 2.30, 2, 2.30? What was the first thing we did? Of course. First thing? Get a kebab. Exactly. <laughs> kebab. We were the only people getting food. I think for like the first 30 minutes, like no one got food except for us. Everyone was like shuffling into the stage. Exactly. We we're just like, ah, screw it. We're good for food. <laughs> There's the, 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 food get, the, the food shops are still setting up and stuff. Right. And like, there were there were four food trucks. And um, so we just went straight to the kebab guy and put all of the other <laughs> food truck people were just watching us. It was funny. That's good. Um, so we got kebabs. Great kebabs too. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Great kebabs. And um, we actually we had two kebabs. Like we got kebabs twice because they were so good. They were so good. We uh, did try to go get uh, tacos. Yeah, there was a taco truck too, which is awesome, but we went a little too late and they started to sell out of stuff and it was a long line yeah, the we second like, time we went, so we were just like, eh, screw it, we'll get another kebab. <laughs> okay, let's go through the list, the schedule of the bands. So, first, there were two stages. First was the outdoor stage, which was smaller. Um, it was Michiru Rondo, who is the backup guitarist for Sai Sai. And she was just playing a solo show. Well, not solo, but like she was leading her own little She has band. like own like a little band, yeah. And um, I like her, right? Yeah, like she's cool. She's good. She's cool. And we always kind of liked her like as playing backup for Sai Sai. But solo was like... It's different. It was very different. Like, you can see, like, she's a really good guitarist, so, yeah. like, you can see, uh, like, her skills in the songs and stuff, but yeah. it's very, like, very, uh, like, like, I didn't expect it to be, like, an, not an idly, but, like, it's, like, very J-pop. It was very j pop -y. And I was really surprised. Very kind of generic lyrics. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you understood the lyrics, uh, but it was very generic. Yeah, it's very generic. Um, Look to the future and grab your dreams and stuff like that. And it was just like, okay, yeah, we get it. Um, and she, she wasn't that. Another thing, she wasn't that really a great, that great of a singer. No, which is. Um, I mean, she wasn't bad, but and she wasn't that great at like getting people going. You know, like that's one thing that Sai Sai is really awesome about. Like they get you going. Um, and on some of the other bands that played too, also were like really good at just making you. Feel excited and getting into it. Yeah, she was I cool. feel like she was a little bit reserved, but she did have a serious emotional moment. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, she That's sang crazy. a song that, like, she said was a happy birthday song. It was a birthday song that yeah. she she wrote, um, talking about like she gave this long, long introduction to the song. That was like, 
all about how she wrote this song because like there's not too many birthday songs out there in the world and she wanted to write a song about how um, just giving thanks for life and all the people that you meet along the way and stuff like that so it was very like intense deeply personal song for her I guess yeah. and a, not even halfway through the song like a quarter of the way into the song she started, she started crying pretty hard like, like really she hard. couldn't sing <laughs> like, um, she started she like kind of stopped singing and just kind of started saying the lyrics instead because yeah. she couldn't really hit the notes um, but uh, it was intense it was like intense. you could tell she was having a big moment personally <laughs> and looking on looking at her just like watching her was like whoa, whoa. <laughs> Snack cart. <laughs> okay. Um, so that was first. Next. Oh, we missed the next group. It was Batman's After School. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. We didn't uh, watch that. We didn't watch that. We. What did we do instead? Grabbed we a just drink. Gonna, we kind of yeah. walked around a little bit. Yeah. Oh, we can talk about this now, I guess. I don't know if this is the right order, but we got this. This is Sai Sai Kun. This is the mascot of Silent Siren. Um, it's a pun because Sai is a uh, rhinoceros in Japanese. This is a rhino. There's a little horn right there. Um, and Sai uh, Dice. This is a die. Dice in Japanese is Saikoro, so it's two puns actually in one character. Anyways, they had a like a crane game for um, Sai Sai Kun. But the thing was, it was 500 yen, which is like five bucks, yeah. to play one time the crane yeah. game, which is really expensive, and you only have one chance. One opportunity. One opportunity. <laughs> this opportunity <laughs> comes once in a lifetime. Um, so like, we were excited to do it, but like at first we were like, I don't know, it's really expensive. You only get one chance, what if we fuck up? Like if we fuck up, then it's like, Jesus, that was 500 yen that we just wasted, you know? Um, and then Henry first decided, was like, you know what, we're here. It's, it's a once in a lifetime thing, Let's, I'm just gonna do it. And I was like, okay, I'll wait in line with you. And then, <laughs> by the, like, as we were waiting in line, I was just like thinking about it more and more, watching other people do it. And um, by the time I got to the front, I was like, I'm definitely doing it. <laughs> like, um, so, anyways, Henry went first. He got one. He got one. Good job. Thanks, man. Then I went up I'm next. So happy. I went up next. Put in my money. Crane goes down. <laughs> lifts up. And they just start cascading down. <laughs> I got three of these little guys in one go. So, at first I wasn't even gonna do it, and then I got three. So, I'm glad yeah, <laughs> Henry um, decided to do it and convinced me to do it. Next we had, so the outdoor stage, there were three more acts, like in a row, that were auditioning to be the opening act at Silent Siren's next concert. So the first one was the band from Osaka called Boundary, and they were really good. There was three, three members, two girls, one guy, um, and the girl that was singing, I really liked her voice. Really good voice. She had a really good voice. And like, this, the music wasn't too complicated, right? Yeah, it's simple drums, simple guitar. Um, yeah, but good melodies, good voice. Uh, I liked them. Check them out. Boundary. It's, it's written in katakana though, so it's boundary. But look up boundary. Uh, next was Go Peso, which was this like very J-pop idol, four girls group in like frilly white dresses with like flowers in their hair <laughs> um, 
very cutesy. We didn't really watch them. We didn't really watch them, but we listened to them a little bit. And uh, yeah, not really for me. No. They were very cute though. I don't know. They did some covers. They were okay. Go Peso. Funny name. I don't really know. And then the last one was Hello Music, and they actually won the contest. Um, they were also very J-poppy. The girl yeah, that was so the girl that was singing had a really high voice. Yeah. Like high pitch. Yeah. Like high pitch girly voice. Yeah. Like cutesy voice. Mm -hmm. And it was very like happy song, like upbeat, bright. Very J-poppy. I, I don't know. I mean, other way to describe it. Hello music. Hello music. But they were okay, I guess. But I probably wouldn't listen to them. Um, okay, so in the main stage, we got to talk about this girl. Um, at 4:20, this girl named Katahira Rina played, and um, she. So like all these bands that we're seeing are like full bands. This girl was just by herself on a very bare stage, like totally empty stage, in this huge hall. Just her with the guitar, acoustic guitar, and a microphone. That's it. Yeah, it's amazing. And she had the most incredible voice. It's amazing voice. Incredible voice. Really good. Um, and her guitar play was just amazing. Yeah. Uh, I am a huge fan. I had never heard of her before yesterday, but um, I loved her her set. And uh, I know Henry did too. Yep. And awesome. uh, we're, we're like, dude, as soon as we get home, we gotta find her CD. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she was really, really great. Nina Katahira. Look her up. She's awesome. awesome. She's got a bunch of videos on YouTube, so uh, maybe I'll link them below. I don't know. Um, yeah, she had such an awesome voice. And very, like, country. It sounded like American country music, kind of. It's good. Okay. Next, the complete opposite end of the spectrum was this group, Nine, which is written with the number nine and then the word nine spelled out. So it's nine nine. Yeah, except that when they were they introducing just, themselves, they just said nine once. Yeah, but anyways, it's five girls, I think. Um, total. Yeah, five or six. Total like anime music, like idol, crazy otaku stuff. <laughs> Um, it like was really like biscuit dancing. Yeah, four girls with like you know kind of tight outfits and or I mean five girls tight outfits, coordinated dancing, um, no instruments or anything, just all pre-recorded techno. Just huge bass, just yeah, <laughs> yes, crazy bass bass, like the most bass I've ever heard at a heavy concert ever. Right? Just like so loud. Um, I, we went in there for like midway through their, their mm -hmm. set yeah. and I heard two songs of theirs mm -hmm. and then I was like, I'm out, I can't handle it. And then you came yeah, out so and also like, like right yeah, after right. me. Yeah, not for me. It's no, intense. thank you. Very intense. All right. Um, then there was Paspie, which is um, another J-pop group. They were interesting. Yeah, it's, they changed the. It's like yeah, J pop, J rock. Yeah, yeah J rock was probably yeah. more accurate, but like they changed the tempo of the songs. Like mm -hmm. they'd be playing one song, and they would just like quickly change the tempo and the speed or the style of the song as well. Yeah, and it was really weird. Like sometimes you could just catch me off guard, but it's not yeah. Bad. Yeah, and they had a really interesting, like, style. Just like, I mean, their look also was really interesting. Like, the, so it was like four guys, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, and one girl who was the singer. Um, and the singer, it was like hard rock kind of music almost. Um, or J-rock, I guess. Mm -hmm. And and then the singer had like a very J-poppy voice. Mm -hmm. But like, she sang in kind of a rock style. It was interesting. 
and they were dressed in like Chinese clothing. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. That uh, what was it called? That a China some, there was a Chinatown? They had a they named a song. Oh yeah, they did have a song called Chinatown. Called Chinatown. That was a pretty good song. Yeah. I like that. Um yeah, they were alright. I don't think I would listen to them normally, but it was fun to watch them. Yeah, that's good. Um, and then finally, last group of the night, Silent Siren and Sai Sai came up. It was awesome. It was so great. Um, they, uh, they played, they started off with their most recent single, mm -hmm. which is a really good song. I like it a lot. Hachi Gatsu no Yoru. Then, uh, I don't remember what else they played. They played all the, their big hits, except for our favorite song, which was a little disappointing. It's okay. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, it's not an upbeat song, so all the other songs they played were right. upbeat, like songs they can dance to and stuff. Right. And they played like four or five songs, and then they were like, this is the last song. <laughs> we're like, what? Wait, what? <laughs> and then, and then they like, left, then they really left the stage afterwards. Yeah, yeah. And of course they came back for an encore, but I guess because it was just like a long day, yeah. there's a lot of other bands, they just do a much shorter set than if it was just their own concert, which was a little disappointing. Obviously we want to hear as much of them as we can. Yeah. And um, the encore, for the, oh, so the whole day, the whole day we were waiting for Sai oh, Sai yeah, yeah, yeah. the mascot, because we saw in uh, one of their videos of their concert that they have like the actual mascot of Sai Sai Kun. They have like the full body suit for someone to wear. I've never, never seen it. We'd never seen it in person. And we were like, the whole day we were like, where is Sai Sai Kun? He's gotta be here, he's gotta be here. Finally, in the encore, Sai Sai Kun comes out for one song, yeah. which was Dancing like, around. yeah, <laughs> it was a little disappointing, like I don't know why he didn't come out for more, Yeah, but it was really cool, we were really excited when he came out for the one song. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice, it's yeah. That was awesome. Um, it was a fun, fun show, like if you don't know Silent Siren, it's four girls, they're awesome, they're models. They're gorgeous. Uh, they play their own music. They play their instruments and, They're good. and sing. They're really good. The, um, I mean, it is very j poppy but it's like, it's fun. The live concerts are super high energy. Like, we were, we were already exhausted before Sai Sai started, yeah. for one thing, because it was a long freaking day, and we were on very little sleep. But, um, after the end of the show, like, we're jumping and shouting, like, the whole show for Sai Sai. Yeah. And by the end of it, we were dead. Yeah. Like, we're just like, well, it's time to go back and pass out. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Sai Sai Fest 2015. Yeah, it's awesome. Done. Bye-bye. Bye, Sai Sai. <laughs>